Okay, guys, we got some mail! Okay, we got some lush. Something I really, really, really can't wait to show you is- Oh my god, I'm so excited! And then some from somebody who basically owed me this shit forever. Uh, they sent me a, uh, this is Fragrant Jewels, they sent me a candle. It was filled to the brim with wax, no wicks in it whatsoever, total crap. Good job, Rich. <laughs> total crap, and they were supposed to resend me a candle, uh, about a month or two ago. To replace that one, that one was, uh, limited time one, it was a cucumber melon. Guess what? They waited a couple months before they did anything. Because they forgot. So instead of giving me back the cash, they told me to pick another candle, so the one I picked, they said, no, you can pick this one or this one. So I said, why don't you just send me one of them instead of telling me to pick one? <laughs> so, let's open this guy. Now let's just check this crap out. Here is this invoicey thing. Oh, this is the Georgia Peach one. Um, to tell you the truth, I don't even want to really burn them, because when you burn a Fragrant Jewels one, I gotta dump it out. Ugh, there you go. When you burn a Fragrant Jewels one, unfortunately, it leaves you with this, like, black soot in your nose, and it makes me nervous, like, because, I mean, I've even, you know, gone and cleaned Boog's nose out and stuff like that, and, and that's my little baby over there. I mean, my nose, I would've been like, oh well. But my little baby had black soot all in his nose, and I got nervous, and I got scared, and I'm thinking, that can't be healthy. Especially not for a little guy. So now I am only ordering uh, the soy wax stuff from the smaller companies. Uh, I like fired up candles. I ordered one of theirs. I love their scents on their site and the way their site is. It's a little hard to navigate through, but then once you figure it out, it's easy. Holy crap, look at this stuff. Boy, yeah. Boy, yeah. Well, if you ever order from Fragrant Jewels or you like the company, you know your candle will never break. You got 50 yards of wrapping around it. <laughs> um, actually, I've never had a candle break in shipping. It actually breaks as it's burning. So, two now I've had break as burning. All right, this here is your Georgia Peach. Pretty, looks cool, nice packaging. There's the size. I am a size 10 because I have sausage fingers. See, a size 10. This one's actually a little too big for my hand. But... I don't like wearing my real one. Oh, it's a two wick. Let's give it a whiff. All right, it's not not strong. I hope the scent throw is uh, pretty strong on it because it hasn't been in the past with some of them. They stay in the little vicinity area, the scents, but they kind of don't throw that well. Um, I'm gonna flick it on. I'm gonna burn it in a different room and then uh, I'll do a reveal for you guys. I never did the candle reveal thing because I just don't think the jewelry is really all that worth it. Um, I'll also, if you guys like, do you want to see a ring collection from all of my bath bombs and candles and other things where I have gotten the jewelry out of something, like, say, this or a bath bomb, because I have Tammy's, uh, bling bombs with the collection jewelry in it, because I collect all that shit. I collect a lot of friggin' things, guys. I, I like, I like being a collector of, of all kinds of odd things, especially, like, uh, Halloween-type motif stuff. Even if it's, like, Dollar Tree stuff, I love the friggin' Dollar Tree. I will collect shit from the Dollar Tree because it's a friggin' dollar. And, I mean, that's where I have found the most unique pigs to collect, is dollar stores. And I love them. I absolutely love them. They're cheap. I collect them. They're amazing. I love them. Friggin I have a girlfriend in Florida who sends me cheap piggy stuff from the Dollar Tree. Man, it's the best gifts I've ever gotten. I love the Dollar Tree stuff. And then she has, like, other dollar stores where she gets stuff for me. Um, but the wax, it's smooshy. It doesn't feel... Oh, it's sticky this time. It never felt sticky before. Uh, this one's a little sticky. Ew. <laughs> Hang on a second. I'm gonna get that off there. Yeek. <laughs> Alright, this one feels a little sticky, but Georgia Peach, it smells good. It smells kind of weak, though. But this is their summer collection. They just had their Halloween one going through, and it was wicked. It was a bath bomb, and it was a... Uh, I think a tri-wick or a double wick. Uh, black candle. I didn't go for it. I'm kind of done with fragrant jewels. Uh, just don't think it's worth the cash, and I don't link them down below, but, uh, if you'd like to go on, it's just fragrantjewels.com. Go on, order yourself whatever you like. Uh, I've had, I had two candles burst on me in burning. I'm very nervous about them. So, they're kind of a no-go, but this one was owed to me because they screwed up. On yet another order. Every order that I ordered from them, something was wrong. Something happened wrong. You know, uh, the bomb would say a size 10 it, and I opened up, and there's a size 5 ring. You know, like, it, it was weird. Like, I was complaining to the company more than I was purchasing. So, in, in my mind, that's not worth the money anymore. So, I just started moving along to better, bigger and better companies. And then I found Atomic Bomb, which is Tammy's company. And she has Bling Bombs, 
with quality jewelry inside of it. Not the crap I was getting from here that actually turned my fingers green. Uh, one or two of them turned my finger green. Uh, a couple of them, the diamonds fell out. So uh, the good ones I kept, the other ones I threw away. So anything that looked cool and didn't turn or didn't lose its thing, but they're all $10 rings. There's, I've only, I got one $25 one, and it was a friggin' size 5. So I wrote them, and they sent me another size 10 $25 ring. So I don't know. It's just... I'm going to go burn this in the other room. So, hey, babe. I got a candle. It's one of the black soot nose ones, though. So. Um, yeah, hang on, guys. Let me get up and go put this in. Okay, I'm back. Let's do Lush! Yay! Okay, now, Lush has such an amazing customer service, which I'm going to entitle this video, you know, just a uh, mail unboxing, Lush, uh, fragrant jewels, and... Uh, the other one? Whatever the hell that other one is. I'm really excited about that white box right there, and I don't want you guys to see it, so I put a diaper over the sticker <laughs> so that I can surprise you. Oh my god, Richie, I can really use your help here. I'm going to lose a finger. All right, hang on. Let me get Richie to do this one. Okay, I'm so glad Richie's home from work right now. <laughs> because last night I stabbed myself in the shin. It was, man, it was horrid. <gasps> it's Lush. Oh, my God. It's not kitchen. Don't worry, guys. It's not kitchen. Uh, this is Lush. This is basically the order form. Now, Lush, such an amazing company that I questioned the size of my granny takes of dips that I had ordered. Um, when I ordered them, I had gotten two rather tiny end pieces. They might have not looked so small on camera, but in person, they were very, they were like the size of Boogie's hand. And I'm like, wait a minute, these are kind of pricey. And these are really tiny end pieces. If I would have gotten one end piece and one, you know, normal size one, I would have been like, ah, screw it. But because I was stuck with two small, tiny end pieces, basically that should have just been one bubble bar and it, or it shouldn't have been sold, you know? It should have went down as like a tester or something that they would use in the shops. So I was kind of like, eh, so I questioned it. I, so I looked on other videos, things like that, and they looked bigger. So of course, you know, I went around, I questioned, and I asked, and this one employee turned around and said, no, send me the picture. So I sent it, she goes, no, you're correct. Those shouldn't have been sold. Those are very, very small. She said, uh, I understand your disappointment. Because I told her, I said, I'm just disappointed, and I just wanted to ask the question. She goes, you know something? She goes, I'm going to send you two new ones, and then I'm going to send you some goodies as, a, as an apology. And I was like, you don't have to. You don't have to. She goes, no, no, no. I want to. So I said, yay. All right. Here we have Granny Takes a Dip. Now, this one is small, but it's not that small little end chunk that I got. So it's a normal, normal Granny Takes It. Wow. it's a lot of glitter in this bad boy. Look at this. It's not like the ass end that I had gotten, where it was so, so tiny. Oh my god, this one smells good! Wow, I kind of like this. Wow, do I like this. Um, if you want, you could split these in half. I'm not going to, though. I'm just gonna... You can smell the candle from the other room? You want to smell something really good? Come here, bring Boogie over here. So, these smell, like, amazing. Hey, monkey. Smell, monkeys. Boogie, smell. Don't eat it. Smell it. It's lush. Mmm. Take a bath in that tonight? Smell, baby. That smells good. Right? Doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, now these are like, they have like ginger, black pepper. Um, I'm happy with these guys. I am happy with these guys. I like these guys. Um, they are a smaller bubble bar. Just, just in presence. They're not the size of comfort or anything like that. They're about the size of pop in the bath. And the ones I got were just way, 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 way too tiny. They looked like just, they just looked like they shouldn't have been taken out. And when I took the picture and sent it to her, I took the picture of it on Boogie's hand. And then I took the other one, put it on my hand. And I said, see, see how they're tiny? This is my nine month old son's hand. And she said, no, you're absolutely right. You know, she goes, and I want to apologize. So she sent me some goodies. So here's the two. Granny takes a dip. Then she sent me, which this one she told me about. She said, I'd like you to try one of our shower gels. Since you're a collector, I don't know if you just try the mainline stuff or if you're only into kitchen products. So she sent me Don't Rate on My Parade shower gel. One of the smaller ones, one of the little, you know, you, you just get it to try it out to see if you like it. One of the smaller 100 gram ones, which I have never smelled this one before because I mainly go for the more rarer items. Oh my god, it's so green. And it's filled to the max. Look at how green that is. That's beautiful. Look at that. Look, 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 look,
Oh, this is it. I'm buying a big bottle. Yep, this is my scent. I love this stuff. It's earthy, yet florally. It, it's sweet. It, it, if you, man, this is it. Definitely, definitely, definitely getting a huge bottle of this shit. Oh my god, I love this smell. This is my smell. This is my smell. I like this smell a lot. Sorry, I'm excited. Okay. Um, also, she didn't tell me anything about a little sample bag. So let's check out Mr. Sampley Bag and no more but peanuts. I love peanuts. So let's check out Mr. Sampley Bag here because she didn't tell me nothing about Sampley Bag. But their customer service is awesome. I mean, I really, with a big time retail company, I mean, even though the handmade products are still massively produced, um, I was really blown away. Oh, soap! Big chunks of soap. <gasps> wow, big old chunks. This is layer cake. I know what layer cake is. Oh my lord. Okay, layer cake. Oh my god, they're like soft and like creamy too. Holy cow. They're all melt and pour soaps, but they put a lot of butters. Look at look look look. It's moving. The Outback Mate is moving. Do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see it? See it sliding off? What? I thought you meant inside the soap was moving. I was like, are you okay? No, 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 I'm not insane, I swear. Okay, let's talk about layer cake. Layer cake soap is designed of layers of different scents. This one kind of smells like the blackberry currant, more like the comforter scent. Uh, this one down here is another type scent. I don't... I'm not really sure which one it is, but each layer is a different scent, and smooshed together, it makes one amazing scented bar. I mean, they have a lime, a lemon, they have more of the, I guess it's kind of like mandarin orangey-ish, and then they have that, like, sweetie pie shower jelly scent, which is uh, in the comforter range. The purple one, the purple one's my favorite one. But the ones that are purple and red, if you get a chunk of that and you don't get all of it, amazing, amazing, amazing chunk to wash with. It smells so good. I might actually just take this one into the bathroom now. Okay, so I love layer cake. Layer cake is good because you can get different scents in one one chunk. Uh, <clears throat> and all of their soaps are made massively, and they bring the block to the actual shop, and they chop you down a piece off the block. I think that's a neat concept, a cool idea, and I really, really, really do like seeing those big blocks everywhere. A lot of them are in pretty cool shapes. It's not like little individual molds. Just massive molds, and they cut it down, it's like as if you're going to a deli and ordering a pound of ham, you know? Or a pound of cheese. And you just tell them, give me a pound of... Rockstar, give me a pound of out, Outback Me, give me whatever. Now, this one, Outback Mate, obviously from Australia. Uh, I guess this one was designed kind of like with Australia in mind. It smells like eucalyptus, it smells like mint, and these are one of the most beautiful melt and pours I've ever seen. You can't eat it. See all this sort? Don't eat that. It looks like those candies that you get in the stores. You get That's the one that, candy. okay, hold on, I'll talk about that one in a minute, and then you'll hear why I like that one, because I have it, actually, just oh, shaped good. differently. Oh, yeah. Serendipity? It's shaped differently, the one I have. It's a very evil word, but it's nice. But see how beautiful that is? Serendipity, it's not an evil word. My English, my English teacher used to use it in such an evil way, but it sounded so pretty at the same time. <laughs> uh, it's just like the most prettiest world in the, uh, most prettiest word in the English dictionary is cellar door. Is cellar. Like for your cellar door for your basement. But it's a French word. So, cellar is a French word. But, uh, yeah, I used to hang out with a, with a friggin' English major. Okay, so that's Outback Mate. Minty, eucalyptus -y, very nice. I love the smell of that one. Very good on a man. This is Bohemian. Bohemian soap smells like lemon. Like, let me smoosh some of that part back in there, because it's kind of coming off. So you could just mold it back in. They're just melting pores, but they have butters in them, and they have all kinds of stuff in them. So they do have cold process soaps, but the melting pores are the most popular ones that they have. Um... These smell amazing. I mean, they smell so good. This is, I believe this is like the top of the bar right here. No, it goes like this. This is the S of the back of it. This would be the back of the mold. And then you have this one. And they, they chop it and everything. And the samples you get from the UK are mammoth. The ones you get from the US are like embarrassing. But, oh my God, this is pure lemon. And it's got like lemony bits in it. Lemony, see the, see the little like... You can see the butters in here. You can see the lemony bits in here. It's supposed to, like, tone up your skin, and it, like, helps with, like, acne and things like that. Uh, very cleansing. Anything, like, that, you know, you wash it with lemon. So, obviously, it's going to smell good, you know? It's going to smell good. You can wash... They tell you to wash your countertops in, like, uh, lemon and salt. Uh, the way to clean your microwave is to put a half a lemon in a cup of water and put it in your microwave for two minutes and then just with the steam of the lemon and the water you can just wipe everything off your microwave on the inside and it cleans it and it's a natural cleaner so lemon is a natural cleanser so bohemian's right up there i like bohemian 
Now let's talk about one of my favorites. <clears throat> Serendipity. Serendipity is a round block, like it's a round tube. And, you know, they cut you slices of this tube. Uh, I was, uh, I purchased Serendipity from UK, and from UK I got a square, ordinary looking block of soap. Nyeh. Wasn't what I wanted. I wanted this, but they sent me an ordinary block of soap. This is the one that I would uh, take in with Twilight, so it's definitely going to go for a Twilight cocktail. And I would take in with Twilight because it is the chamomile, the lavender, and it is a very relaxing, soothing... Oh, how to get this whiff of it. Very relaxing, soothing scent, and yes, it would fall under the Twilight family. So if you're into Twilight, and you can't get your hands on, say, Twilight shower gel or something like that, get the Serendipity soap, you'll like it. So I am very much into Serendipity. I really do like this one. It does smell like it smells very, very, very close to Twilight. It would fall in that family scent range. So I would definitely aim for Serendipity. I wash Boogie in it a lot. I still have some inside. When I had purchased it, I loved the smell of it so much, I purchased three more behind it. So <laughs> Serendipity is a good... Oh, so good. It smells so nice. And it does come beautiful in like a slab. So if you get a chance to go to the store by you, because now we also have it in the U.S., uh, there was a lot of scents like uh, Respect Your Elders, Layer Cake, things like that, that were only released in the UK and then moved on along to the US. Maple soap. Um, I actually found out about it two weeks before they were getting it, simply because I called. <laughs> I don't know why, but I call lots every now and then and I ask questions. <laughs> oh man, I feel like such a whack job when I call and I'm like, so, anything new going on? They're like, hold on, and they transfer me over to like, I guess a PR firm or something like that, or a PR person. And the PR person tells me what they can tell me, and then sometimes I'll get a PR person that will leak something a little better. And, uh, you know, just like with, uh, <clears throat> with, like, dates and stuff that, like, the Christmas stuff is coming out and things like that. You know, and, uh, just different, certain kind of Christmas things that are coming out. Uh, there was, uh, just one thing I knew about before anybody else knew about, just because somebody had made a mistake and leaked it. But, uh, I didn't tell nobody about it, just simply because... You know, she asked me not to, so I didn't. <laughs> but sometimes they're cool, and they'll give you all kinds of info, and then sometimes they're real, real quiet, and they don't say anything, and they're like, oh, nope, we got nothing going on. Nope, 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 nope. And then a day later, Lush -a -Lot tells me there's something going on. So, I don't know. But if you want to find out more about all these things or anything like that, uh, you can go to Jen for All Things Lush UK, her channel. She demos stuff. She talks about everything. She's a massive collector as well. Or we have Miss Lush -a -Lot, Miss April. And uh, she is a massive, massive collector, and she will go ahead and demo and talk about all these products. She also has an amazing blog. You can go on and you can read about all these products. I'm dying to get my hands on the Lush book. There's a book all about Lush. Uh, I believe it goes back to before it was even called Lush. It was called something else. Uh, they were going to call it, like, Fresh Pharmacy in the beginning. Or it might have been called Fresh Pharmacy. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> but I believe they changed the name and got started into, like, bath bombs, things like that, in 1995. That was where they made the bomb. The first bath bomb was 1995. So, there you have it. That is my haul. Oh, Kelly! <laughs> Kelly Prill just messaged me on Facebook. So, uh, I'm gonna load this up. I'm gonna talk to Kelly for a minute. Hi, Kel! <laughs> Kelly, she just messaged me real quick. I just see her little face popped up. <laughs> so that's cute. I love that. She messaged me while I'm filming. Hi! <laughs> Okay, guys, I am going to upload this one real quick, and then we are going to come back, and we are going to open this box, and I am so excited to show you what's inside of this. As soon as I saw it, I'm basically broke. I spent, like, the last of my money on it. So, <laughs> I'm pretty much going to be eating uh, pasta dinners now, because it's cheap. Spaghetti and sauce for the rest of the week. So, love yous all, and, uh, yeah, definitely Don't Rain on My Parade is amazing. I love it, and Serendipity is the, uh, kind of like the soap version of Twilight. It smells so good. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and this Christmas we're getting, uh, which is in the kitchen right now, Sleepy Body Lotion, which is the Twilight Scented Body Lotion, and we're also getting a Mrs. Sandman, or Sandman, Dusting Powder, which is Twilight Scented as well. So if you're into Twilight, go there. If you have any other questions or anything like that, or if you can give me any information on Lush, I would really appreciate that. Please leave in the comments down below. Since you've made it this far on our little hole here, uh, you might as well hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on, and wait for the demos. And, uh, tonight, I'm not sure which place we're gonna do, but I'm gonna demo something, and one of them is gonna be a lunch. I really wanna try the Granny Takes a Dip, so one of them is gonna be a Granny Takes a Dip. Uh, we're probably gonna do two videos tonight, because I wanna do a bomb and then a bubble bar. I don't wanna do them together It's a cocktail, because sometimes the, uh, oils in the bomb will diminish the bubbles, and I want you guys to see its full potential as a bubble bar. And then the second time I go to demo a bubble bar, I'll add it into a cocktail with a bomb or something like that, and pair it together. 
But for first initial tries with bubble bars, I'd like to show you what they do, just the way they suds up and bubble up without the moisture from the bath bombs. All right. Uh, love yous all. If you enjoy these little lush, lush holes and things like that, this one was a rather small one. Um, I normally never order this tiny. I try and keep it up there because if I'm going to pay for the shipping, I'm going to do it right. I'm going to order something worth that shipping. Especially when you order from the UK. It's expensive. Uh, when I order from the US site, too, it gets rather pricey. But when I order through Canada, it actually works out cheaper because our money is more in Canada. So, a uh, little tint. Order from Canada if you're going to order from the northern site. Uh, you can pick where you want to order from, too, but the only places I believe that will ship worldwide would be the UK, Canada, and uh, the US will ship to us. And they'll ship to the UK, too, so I don't know. Okay, love yous all. Talk to you again in a little bit. Bye.